Today I have a review of the Anchor Power Core 2100 Portable Power or Battery Bank. And as you can hear, you'll have to excuse, it is the uh, 4th of July here where I've been recording this. So um, I get some of the noise of the local fireworks. Anchor for me has become a trustworthy brand whose marketing is accurate and trustworthy. Um, they don't overstate the information on their products and uh, the things that they say they can do. In my experience, they do. So today is their one of their newer power banks, and it's uh, pretty nice. It's not that big. Um, it's about the size. It's a little bit longer than a dollar bill. And I'm sorry, I don't have one on me at the moment. But it's uh, only about two inches wide, two and a half inches wide, and about three quarters of an inch tall. And let me show you what it comes with. So here's the box. It's a pretty standard anchor box. Um, and uh, nothing real fancy about the box, but on the inside, you have instructions in the accessories pouch. And um, the accessories that it does come with are this nice um, bag and um, a USB cable. And uh, this all fits together really nice to make a nice travel pack. You can pull the string and uh, there you go. So one of the things I wanted to do was uh, compare the weight of this Anchor Power Core 2100 um, power bank with some of the other ones I have. So the Anchor is 12.65 uh, ounces. Then I have another 20,000 milliamp hour. This one is a Solve brand. And you can see it's 17.68 ounces, uh, so it's significantly heavier. And uh, then I've got a Xiaomi uh, 10,400 milliamp, and uh, it's 9.13 ounces, but remember that's half the capacity as the Anchor. So weight-wise, the Anchor is fantastic for its capacity, and I'll just put them all, line them all up here together. And that'll be a little hard to do because the solve is, is a large unit. So, as you can see, if we really just need to compare these two together, um, the, the anchor is about half the width, and it is uh, a third less the weight, roughly. So, it's, it's great for travel. Um, the plastic case on it is a matte finish, and uh, fits nice in the hand here as you can see. That matte finish helps it to not be um, slippery and also not have any problems with fingerprints. So you might be asking yourself what does 20,000 milliamp hours or MA mean? Well it means a lot of charging power. Most uh, high-end cell phones in 2016 have between a 2,000 and 3,200 milliamp hour battery. So that means you can charge your devices many times with this power bank. Now, you can't take a direct comparison and take the 20,000 divide by, say, your phone has 3,000 milliamp hours and get how many times you can charge it because there is some loss there due to voltages that are being changed um, between the internal cells of this and what your, your cell phone uses. But um, in my experience, I can charge my uh, Note 4 and my, 26, my 2013 Nexus 7 about twice each on a full charge. One of the nicest things about this charger for me is that it has basically trickle charge. You can see here the available ports and I'll get the camera to focus. You've got two out USB outputs and then one micro USB input. And then on this side you've got a charging indicator light that shows you the uh, lights up these LEDs to show you how full it is. These other power banks that I have, like this uh, Xiaomi, when your device charges and reports as being full, charging stops, um, which then your device goes 100% back to its internal power. And uh, this is okay, but it's really not ideal if you're traveling or say charging a phone overnight. Um, because you want your phone to be 100% when you're landed and you're done with your flight or you wake up in the morning and you want your phone to be at 100%. What's nice about this Anchor Power Core 2100 is that when I uh, 
it does trickle charge. So it'll sit there and maintain your device at 100% of its power um, until you unplug it. And for me, that's, this is, that might be one of my absolute favorite features. Now, since this does have such a large capacity, it does take a long time to recharge. Um, on a 2 a.m. charger, um, Anchor says it'll take about 10 hours. Now, see, it might seem like a long time, and it is, but uh, it's just such an immense amount of power, you don't want to charge it faster, um, or it could become unsafe. In my experience, this was accurate. Uh, my charger came with about 50% power, and I plugged it into a 2 amp uh, wall charger that I had for my cell phone, and uh, it did take right at about five hours to report as being 100%. Anchor also offers some neat technologies that uh, for their power banks that really help improve them. Um, I want to go over a couple of those quick. You've got Power IQ, which identifies the device and provides uh, safe high-speed charging as possible. You've got voltage boost, which adjusts for the cable. And uh, this is a big thing that you might not be aware of. So your cable quality matters a lot. Um, you can get some cables that are really thin and uh, they have a lot of internal resistance. The wires aren't as heavy, so they, they provide less power. Well, one of the ways around that is you can increase the voltage a little bit to get around that safely. And uh, the anchor has the ability to do that. Now, it won't make a totally crappy cable an amazing cable, but it'll help those cables that are just average and make them, make them a little bit better. Um, you should still have good cables for your devices. It's one of the most important things when charging. Then you've got multi-protect, multi which is safety, uh, which is all your safety stuff. So it's temperature controls, auto shutdown, low voltage protection for its internal cells, um, overload protection, things like that. Um, it really does make a difference. These uh, power banks have such a large uh, capacity that you don't want anything to go wrong or it could, you could have a situation on your hands. So overall, I think this is a great power bank. It provides uh, the necessary features with extra, extra features then that make it nice. Um, you can charge two devices at once with up to 4.8 amps of output, and that's enough to charge your tablets and your phones at the same time. Um, it does not have the ability, uh, charging pass-through, so you cannot uh, be charging the power bank and charge your devices all with one. You've got to separate those, so you need to charge your power bank first, then charge your devices, or uh, charge your devices and then charge your power bank. But you can't do both at the same time with this power bank, and that's, that's pretty normal. I think this is great for travel. I'm a big user of power banks when I travel. It always seems when you fly to uh, suck your battery power no matter what phone you have. And uh, it's such a nice thing to be able to uh, get on a flight, plug in your phone to your power bank, and get off your flight at 100% of the power. Even if you don't fly, I find these really useful um, traveling in the car or, or just uh, any type of travel you might do. Um, they're also great for any storms or uh, situations where you might lose electricity in your house. Um, I have a power bank in my go bag, which in my area is really more for uh, severe storms, whether it be tornadoes or flooding, um, something I can go that I can just grab on my way out the door and I've got everything I need in it, or for blizzards if I'm traveling or something like that. I recommend this power bank. Like I said, for me, Anchor has been a brand that I can trust and is reliable. Their products hold up the test of time and uh, do what they say. This power bank has a huge capacity, lots of features, and does what, does what I expect it to. A couple things I would make as an improvement. I wish this power bank had a numerical display like my uh, Solve does here. As you can see, it's got a, and that might be kind of hard to focus here. As you can see, it's got a uh, numerical display, and that's really nice to show you what percentage of battery you have. Uh, but this power bank is considerably uh, less expensive. Um, I would recommend that, and I would recommend adding uh, quick charge support. So uh, Qualcomm has Qualcomm Quick, quick Charge, which uh, boosts the voltage during the charge and allows you to charge your batteries much quicker. And uh, that's something I wish I wish this had, but it does not. Um, not a deal breaker. It's still a ton of power. You might just have to wait just a tad bit longer. So overall, 
I recommend this for anybody who travels, anybody who needs some storm preparedness, or just finds their phone runs out of power frequently. I don't think you can go wrong with this. It's got an amazing capacity for its size uh, and weight, like I showed, better than any of the power banks I have. And uh, I really recommend it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you, have, if you haven't already, and look forward to more reviews in the future. Thank you.